Uh, today brought the president a new reason to freak out when House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler announced a sweeping investigation into President Trump's campaign, businesses, transition, and administration. Campaign, businesses, transition, administration. So they've narrowed the problem <laughs> to everything he's done. And the House Democrats are not messing around here. They've sent document requests to 81 people and entities, including the Trump campaign, the Trump foundation, the Trump organization, the Trump transition, and something called the Donald J. Trump Revocable Trust. Well, I think it's safe to say, trust revoked. <laughs> Trump's bad week really got into gear with the House Oversight Committee's hearing for former Trump lawyer and kid being told by his parents that the divorce is his fault. <laughs> Michael Cohen. Wow. Really sad. He's sad. He's very sad. Mm. He's so sad. Cohen testified that not only did Trump reimburse him for the Stormy Daniels payoff while in office, he brought a copy of the check, take a look, from Donald Trump to Michael Cohen, totaling $35,000 from Capital One Bank, which makes sense. Because their slogan is, Capital One, what's in your wallet? Oh, damning evidence of campaign finance fraud? <laughs> Yikes. Yikers! It's true. Not in so my it's, wallet. It's, it's, it's true. It's true. So not only, not only was Cohen responsible for transferring the money to Stormy, he was also the in-family messenger. He asked me to pay off an adult film star with whom he had an affair and to lie about it to his wife, which I did. I lied to the first lady. When the president called me and I was sitting in a car with a friend of mine, and he had me speak to her and explain to the first lady. Always the sign of a healthy relationship. <laughs> Babe, I never cheated on you. Now I would prefer any further questions about my affection and my loyalty. Go to my lawyer. <laughs> who has prepared a signed affidavit attesting that I love you. <laughs> the Democrats pushed Cohen to reveal as much as he could. Representative Ocasio-Cortez asked him who might know about the alleged secret trove of Trump documents owned by the National Enquirer. So you would say the person who knows the whereabouts of these documents would be David Pecker? David Pecker, Barry Levine, or um, Dylan Howard. Who else knows that the president did this? Alan Weisselberg, Ron Lieberman, and Matthew Calamari. Sir, I'm running out of time, so if you could please implicate as many people as possible, <laughs> and please, if you can, save the silliest name for the very end. Something, <laughs> something borderline anti-Italian, like Betty Spaghetti, or <laughs> Luigi Casseroli, or, or Matthew Calamari. I don't care which one. On the other side of the aisle, Republicans didn't even bother asking Cohen a single substantive question. Instead, they just called him a liar. The first announced witness for the 116th Congress is a guy who is going to prison in two months for lying to Congress. I don't know a juror in America that would believe anything Mr. Cohen says given his past actions and lies. That's why I, that's important to you, to look up here and, and look at the old adage that our moms taught us. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You learned liar, liar, pants on fire from your mom? <laughs> Honey, dear, if you're ever in an argument with someone, remember to take the high road and call them a big, dumb, duty face. <laughs> now, saying we shouldn't believe Cohen because he lied in the past is not a good argument. Trump hired him to be his liar. That's why he wanted someone who knows about crimes and affairs. He wanted a dirtbag lawyer. He didn't want Atticus Finch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this porn star has not produced one iota of evidence <laughs> that the affair Donald Trump is charged with ever took place. So I am warning you, tread very <laughs> lightly. <laughs> Because what I'm going to do to you is going to be <laughs> disgusting. Do you understand me? In the name of God, do your duty and take this check for $130,000 and shut your mouth, sir. Of course.
Of course, Trump fired back against the testimony on Twitter. Virtually everything failed, lawyer. Michael Cohen said in his sworn testimony last week is totally contradicted in his just-released manuscript for a book about me. It's a total new love letter to Trump. Wait. <laughs> Why did he put Trump in quotes? Is that... He did not know that's him? I'm really worried about this Trump guy, okay? <laughs> He's done some bad stuff. No, really. I tried talking to him every morning in the mirror, but he keeps interrupting me. I don't... I don't think he's right in the head. But Cohen's book probably doesn't even exist, because it turns out Cohen wrote a brief proposal last year for a book tentatively titled Trump Revolution from the Tower to the White House Understanding Donald J. Trump. Chapter 1. You can't! <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.